Hey, welcome to Love Sub and episode 41. Today we're going to talk about weighing your trailer and when you should weigh your trailer. Right, because there's a couple certain instances when that trailer should be weighed, and we've hit a couple of them. So what's the first one? When you buy your new trailer. You haven't done that one yet. But you want a baseline. You need to know what the baseline is, and you just can't rely on the sticker that says this is the what the trailer weighs. you got to get it weighed. Second time is when you buy a new tow vehicle. Yep, and we do have a new tow vehicle this year for the first time in 18 years. Yeah. So, um, but that then you want to find out the axle weights and the gross combined vehicular weight rating. Yep. Very important, which I'll talk about in a second. Very and third important. is when you change your towing habits. And that's a big one that I think a lot of people forget about is when you change your towing habits significantly, that's the time to weigh your trailer. When you go from a weekend trip every other weekend to maybe a three month trip or maybe even if you start full timing. Right. So we're right now in the midst of a two month trip instead of just our weekend camping. So the love sub is never heavier. She's got all of her clothes, canned goods, food. The truck has its generator, our folding bikes, our everything. Dutch oven. We've got everything. So this yep. is as heavy as we're ever going to get. Perfect time to get our weight down. And we're going to see what we weigh. Right. So because there's two numbers I'm going to be looking at very carefully. And that's the gross vehicular weight rating of the trailer. Okay. And that shows how much the trailer actually weighs. And then the other one is going to be the gross combined vehicular weight rating, which is the two together. Okay. okay? And that um, will show you whether you can stop or not. Because stopping in a trailer is extremely important, um, even with the brake controller, etc. Uh, and so we're going to check that out. We're going to make sure that we're not too heavy because not only will that do damage to your axles, but. And your tires. Yep. The yeah, most watch your tires. Yeah. You, if you guys are on the internet, you'll see there's a zillion stories about Goodyear marathons and how they blow up and everything. Well, we've done 74,900 miles or so on two sets of Goodyear marathons over 17 years. We've never had a blowout. Never had Thank a goodness. Yeah, never. They, they, they're, and they still, it's going to kill me. I'm going to be replacing them. But it's going to kill me to replace them because they look absolutely pristine big part of that proper inflation and yes your trailer weight which we're gonna be checking out here in just a few seconds and we'll let, let you know how it goes yep stay tuned in the end so just about like anything else these days the first step is to get onto the website and I'll include a link in the video's description below but uh, but if you didn't know cat stands for certified automated truck scales and they get to use that cool little logo but we knew we'd be driving through Carlisle Pennsylvania off of I-81 so we kind of put that filter into the search to see what would pop up so that we could kind of have an idea as to where to go. And as you can see, a whole bunch popped up. There's actually over 1,800 CAT scales throughout the United States and Canada. If you've never done this before, it is super easy to figure it out. They have a whole web page as to how to do this. And you can see for a truck and trailer like us, there'll be three scale points. You just pull your axles onto the first two scales and have your trailer on the third. Super easy. All right, we are here fueling at a Flying J, and of course we like them because they have dedicated RV slots and it makes it easy in, easy out. But we're here because we are gonna be weighing our rig. So we're gonna go ahead and get her weighed at the cat scales here at the Flying J, and we'll give you a report on how that worked out, how it went, and what she weighed. Next. And we're going to weigh the Lusa. Uh, Richard! Is this your first way? Yes, it is! Truck number? Private! It's private! See you inside! Okay, thank you! Thank you! Let's walk into the Flying J and we pay for our way, which was $10.50 for one way. Yep. And if you have a reway, I think they add additional charges on for that. I'm not sure what the I think it's a lot cheaper the second time you do it. It's like two dollars and something the second time. Maybe it's out. like eleven fifty or eleven seventy five for two ways, but we're gonna just do the one way and see what happens. So we're in the 
satisfying, Jay. We just paid $11.50 yep. actually. For our yep, but we got our way ticket, so we're going to go ahead and assess um, our weights and see how we're doing. We should be doing pretty good. It looks just a uh, quick scan says it looks like we're doing good. We got our front axle, our rear axle, our trailer, and we'll be good to go. Something you should always do with your RV if you want to be a safe RVer. So definitely get them swayed. It's well worth it. So how did we do? I think we did pretty good. I was really excited with the results. So the first one that I was really worried about was the weight of the love sub for her three month trip because especially when we were towing it 105, 107 degrees down south. Yeah. Uh, and we were loaded up for three months. I was worried we might be a little bit over our weight, but and we came in at what? 4,660 pounds. And what was our limit? Uh, 5,000. 5, and 5, you can 000. find that limit. Uh, ours is on our cabinet. I'll show it uh, right here. But our limit was 5,000. So That's we came excellent. in yep, about 340 pounds below weight. our limit, yes. which is really super cool. Yes. And then we looked at the truck. The gross uh, vehicular weight rating for the truck, which we can never exceed, was 7,050 pounds. Mm -hmm. And again, we were loaded with all the stuff we could load up. And, Bikes, um, everything. Yeah, we came in at uh, 6,740, so a couple hundred pounds short of our weight there. Yeah, um, so we uh, came in really well then. Yep, yeah. So that's, that's excellent results, I think. Yeah, it was really good. And then, like I say, the important number that I always like to look at is the gross combined vehicular weight rating, which is the two together, because that really shows your ability to pull and most importantly your ability to stop and that came in we came in at uh, 11,400 11, yep 11,400 and our truck it's 14,299 pounds is the rating so we're uh, just under 3,000 pounds on our gross right so we're very vehicle. safe I think right yeah I, as long as we're driving below speed and all that other good stuff we yep. continue to be safe but from yes. a weight perspective we were really really happy with the results yes so it was super easy to do. Yeah, and that's really what I want you to take away, how easy it is to get your rig weighed. These cat scales are all over the place. Uh, as After we got our rig weighed, as we were driving the highway, we, we got, saw a million yeah, of Yeah, we just caught, kept seeing them and seeing them. So definitely get your rig weighed. Be safe. Gives you peace of mind. Yep. And hopefully you enjoyed our video. Yes. If you did. Give us a thumbs up. Click to subscribe. And comment below if you've ever weighed your rig and how it turned out for you. Yep, and if you have any other comments or suggestions for how to be safe, definitely hit that notification bell. We come out with Airstream and RV content every Tuesday. Yes. Plus, we've been dumping a few uh, bonus videos on our Doswell International Rally. So if you're interested in as to how an Airstream Rally is or an RV Rally, I'm sure the Good Sam ones yep. are all the same. Click on some of our other videos and check those out as well. Yep, absolutely. Until next time. Thanks for be watching. Be safe. Thanks we'll see you down watching. the road.